switch group tutorials today. We're doing a chi score test for randomness. And this question is taken from the January 2016 paper, and this is question 7, part A. There's seven marks going for this. So just to explain some of the background here, uh, you, one would imagine that there's an equally likely chance of being born on any day of the week. Um, and scientists wish to test this. So just in case you were wondering where the Friday is different from the others, in 1990, like in any other year, that's a non-leap year, there's 365 days in the year. So there's going to be 52 you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, whatever, and there's going to be one day that has 53. And in 1990, there was 53 Fridays and 52 rest of the days. So, so there we are, 52 over 365, 52 over 365, and for the Friday, just up there, 53 over 365. The expected frequency is the probability of a Sunday, which is 0.14247 or B2, by um, the number of babies or children observed, which is 350. That gives me 49.86. And on Friday, slightly different because that's going to refer to B7, which is 0.14251, reflecting to 53 over 365. The observed values are given. And then we start to do a little bit of work. So the chi squared is the observed minus the expected all to be squared divided by the expected. So the observed is 33. The expected is 49.86. So on your calculator, you would say 33 minus 49.86 all to be squared divided by the expected. Uh, 33. Now I just did it in Excel here and it's just given up there. Just widen that a little bit so you can see the formula. So you would do the same calculation and you would add them all up and when you add them all up you get 15.057. So just in case that sigma there means sum up. Uh, what's the null hypothesis for the old chi square test for randomness? The data occurs by chance. So there's no preference, there's no bias, there's no inclination. So it, everything is completely at random. And the alternative hypothesis is that there's some outside force, some outright agency is acting and the thing is not by chance. So for this question, the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis is always the same. Null hypothesis, everything occurs by chance. Alternative hypothesis, there is some outside force. You have to go and test this. The degrees of freedom is n minus 1. How many rows were there? How many groups were there? How many classes were there? Seven days in the week. So n minus one, seven minus one is six. <coughs> Excuse me. And you have to go off and look up the statistical tables. There we are. So you look up, it's always the same here. Alpha one or five percent. Where's the five percent coming from? Excuse me, I'm gonna cough here a second. <coughs> We're testing at a 5% level of significance. So 5%, 6 degrees of freedom, 12.592. So the conclusion, since the computed value 15.057 is larger than the critical value 12.592, we have reason to reject HNO. Or in other words, we, we have reason to think that there is some outside agency at force. Things are not completely by chance. Okay, so hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.